Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is the part two on how you can create text inputs on Figma and add them to your design system using variants and components, also variables. So in the last video, we missed something. We missed creating the hint. So in order to do that, actually we cannot like just copy paste a text here because our our component, the whole component it does does have a background so we need to yeah you're gonna see how it's gonna affect so if i like add a text like hint goes here and if i cu cut it and paste it here you can see that it gets i i need this text to be here and if i do like if i change the alignment here it's gonna mess up the icons too you can see here so that's not the, the way to do it how can we manage that then so before doing anything I'm going to select all of these and remove one border radius, right? It's going to be zero. Also, the, the spacing is going to be zero, both for padding and, you know, left and right and top and bottom. And then I'm going to remove the background. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is actually select the elements inside and once again create an auto layout for them. So I'm going to select all of them and hit Shift A. Then I'm going to style this one. So the border radius is going to be 12. It's going to be 12. Top and bottom padding um, 8. Left and right padding 16. And then I'm going to set the um, surface color to um, the, same, the same one. Now, if I like write anything like hint, and if I paste it here, first of all, I need to make sure this is a uh, vertical layout. So if I select the whole component and tap it and paste that one here, you can see that now uh, these are these two are separate. So this is another um, group, this is another frame, and this is another item. So yeah, that is just something we need to do before doing anything. And for these one, I'm not gonna waste time just to create them. I'm gonna delete all of those. I'm just going to duplicate this. Or, oops, <laughs> now I need to move it here. All right, let's remove these ones. So this one is going to be no none. There's no icon here. I'm going to delete this one and delete this one. And this one is going to be, actually, this is going to be the both one. This is going to be the right one, and this is icon left only. So delete this one, and delete that one. All right, now we can go ahead and create our hint. So what I'm going to do next is going to be actually selecting our input, create another component, call it text. Um, it's going to be text and call it hint, sorry. And the value for the default, I, I think I'm going to go with like hint, like hint goes here, something like that. And another thing I need to create is actually a variant. It's going to be Boolean. Actually, the value is going to be Boolean. So it's going to be false for the regular one. And um, maybe we can change this to something, something like message or hint hint text or something. Yeah, you can edit it in future. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is actually select these ones and duplicate them right here. All right, and set the value to true. And when I set the value to true, I need to add the hint. So it says hint goes here. The font size is okay, 12. And let's select the text. It, it can be subtitle. Or it can be a little bit darker, but I'm going to go with this one, the same as placeholder, which is okay. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's go with body. And these ones. Um, yeah, for these ones, this this looks okay. No, it doesn't. Yeah, let's go with this one. <laughs> and uh, the spacing is actually is gonna be the sp the gap is gonna be I think two or that's two less. No, no, that's okay. Yeah, two is good. And what I'm gonna do is just copy this, select the, select these ones, and just hit paste. And then I'm gonna select these, 
and set the gap to 2. All right, now we have created a component. We just need to, um, so we have the hint. Oh, oh we, we missed something. So this needs to be connected, actually. Hint text. There we go, hint text. You should never miss these because if you miss these and you like <laughs> add up to your components, you're gonna actually blame yourself on the time you're gonna waste just to fix those. Anyhow, let's go ahead and create the states. So for the states, I'm gonna add another variant and call it states. The one that they created is actually the filled one. So let's just move them down to the middle so we know um, their placement. And the before, the before, before field is um, typing. And before that is hover. And before that is actually the default one. Default. And after filled, let me increase the size of this one. After filled, it's going to be error. Next one is going to be success. And then disabled. All right, now that I have added all the states but have not styled them, let's go ahead and style them. So. Before doing so, I want to edit my variables a bit. So I just want to add some border colors to the grayscale. So let's go to the border and maybe I can call it, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the color one and I can call it default but dark, right? And then I'm gonna go to the libraries here, I select um, chill gray and it's going to be 900, right? Just to have something because I'm going to add up, add up these ones as I go to design because yeah, sometimes you never know that that's uh, actually one of the advantages of using variables. So you can manage them easily because we already have the primitives here and we just like select these ones and add them to our to, to our tokens here. Anyhow, that's another video. And yeah, let's go ahead and style them. Be before doing anything, um, I need to have a plan on how my different states would look like. So this is the this is the default one, the first one. For the default one, actually, I'm gonna remove the content. So you don't have a text here actually when the input is empty. So why to have it here? And when the placeholder is actually the placeholder. <laughs> so yeah. Placeholder is acting both as title and placeholder here. Um, which basically is like the, the Apple one. So when you go to the iCloud website, you see the same style for the inputs. Okay, let's go and delete these. And now what I'm gonna do, actually you can see that since these, are, these have icons and the height of these are 24, but we removed the icon from this one. So I'm just gonna select these two, these two frames and set the height to fixed height and make it 24 so it matches the other inputs so what i'm going to do next is just selecting this one let's go ahead and select these and the background color is default subtle if i hit this this one it's gonna this icon uh, crosser is gonna select all of the one all of the elements which have the default subtle as color so let's select that and now I need to match the height with these ones. Oh, oh, we missed something. So before doing so, let's go ahead and change the font size of these. I want it to be 14. And again, we need to manage the size of this one, which is 24, which is okay, but I'm gonna make sure it's center aligned, right? And then again, we're gonna select these go to the full subtle select them and now i'm going to manage the sizes the paddings so the height goes to 56 the same as these ones right yeah so the the height should be 56 let's change it 
actually it's gonna be here let's double the size to 16 all right now it's 56 for so for the other ones I'm just gonna do these uh, off camera so I'm just gonna um, style all of these off to disable and I'll see you in a sec okay now I have finished um, creating all my states what I'm gonna do is just reduce the height of this so I can fit more items here all right I'm going to create the sizes, which is going to be pretty, pretty easy. Let's go create a variant called it size. The default size is going to be medium. Select all of these, move it to the center and duplicate it to create the, actually to create the small one. So it's going to be small. All right. And now let's go one by one. So before doing so, I want to change the font size of this one since this it's the smallest one. So what I'm going to do is just select these ones or actually what I'm going to do here because the, these don't have a content. I'm going to select the one that says body. I can select it easy and change the body text from 14 to 12. All right. Here too, but I need to make sure that the placeholders are selected. I don't want to change the, actually they're the same. Will it show me the, nope, it won't. Okay, let's just, let's go ahead and select all of those manually. And there you go it's gonna be 12 and all right that's it and for the rest yeah i'm just gonna change the sizes now so as you can see our button our small button is actually 48 in height so i'm just gonna select these ones first because these have a different style than, than these so let's go ahead and select the ones that with the background with the surface color as default subtle we want to change this to 56 so let's do that i'm going to reduce this to, to 48 actually i'm going to reduce this to 12. yep exactly 48. Uh, again that's one of the advantages of using variables so you don't need to add any custom numbers and let's go with the ones that the background is white so we can select them all easily. And now you can see it's 52. I need to reduce it by six, actually, no, by four, sorry. So four from top, four from, two from top, two from bottom is gonna be six. All right. And the next one, like so. Again, this is gonna be six. All right, now we have our, our, our small inputs. Let's go with the bigger ones. It's gonna be large and the same here, but I'm not gonna change the font size this time around because they look okay. And let's select, let's select this one. Let's go ahead and I think this is 64. Yeah. Let's go back and make sure. I'm going to deselect this one actually. Let's go ahead and make sure this is 56. So I need to, I mean, 64. Oh, yeah. It's going to be uh, 20. Yeah. The, the variable should be 20. Let's go and do the same with these ones. and it's gonna be 16 i guess no that's too much it's gonna be 12. yep all right here are you here you go awesome now we have created actually one one more thing one more thing i i missed so you can see the border radius here is 12, but for the large one, I want to increase it actually. So what I'm gonna do is just select all of these. First, let's go ahead with the one that's a surface subtle. 
these ones, the border radius for this. Let's do a um, 16. And again with these ones too, because their background is white. Go ahead right here, and it's gonna be 16. All right, now we have uh, finished creating all of our, our inputs for the for the ones that have a background. Let's delete this one. The only thing remaining is this one, the underline, which if I uh, show you how I can create that, it's going to take too long. So um, I think that's going to be another video because that includes a good Figma feature that I'm going to show you. So I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.